It is undeniable that television is in another profound transformation. But we have to admit that probably television is the media that has best adapted to the new situation. And this has always been in the past and it will always be in the future. Uh, just a few years ago, when we talk about TV, we were just talking about the device placed in the living room of the different homes. Nowadays, TV is a 360 degrees factory of premium content that enable the connection between viewers and brands. We are involved in great business transformations. In the very beginning, as a free-to-air, we were focused on buying content, mixing it properly, and selling advertising. Now, we operate at multiple levels to maximize the value of that content, producing it for other players, launching SVOD platforms, and everything under a coordinated distribution strategy to let us operate in several markets at once. The ETASEN has widened our opportunities. All broadcasters across Europe are pushing the development of addressable television and SVOD platforms in every market they operate. We are entering in new marketing, in new markets such as influencers, sporting our attributes of quality and brand safe to all the uh, businesses in which now we operate. But our main concern is not the challenge to adapt our businesses and organization to the digital framework, but the legal asymmetry we are facing in our everyday job. We demand a fair level player field. We are far from having it. We are not asking for privilege, but for a fair business framework. The later the regulators face that challenge, the worse it will be for the players. So the main challenge is not um, whether to transform, but how do we drive it? That is maintaining our values, which is uh, brand safe, which is quality, which is premium content, and building together with all our stakeholders an environment friendly to our consumers and to our advertisers in order for them to find a reliable and safe environment in which they made their businesses.